This video is sponsored by Masterworks. It's time to break open that piggy bank because today we're going to be looking at the top 15 most expensive LEGO sets. These aren't necessarily the biggest or newest sets, but rather these are some of the most valuable and highly desired LEGO sets for collectors. In fact, all three of these sets didn't even make the top 15, and yet they're all currently worth over $2,000 each. It's gonna get crazy, so as always, if you go on to enjoy the video, let me know with a like rating and consider subscribing for weekly LEGO videos. All right, let's jump right in. Beginning the wallet shock today is a set from the LEGO Model Team series, appropriately named the Giant Truck, or Black Cat set as it was referred to in Europe. Initially released in 1996 at a price of 140 US dollars, this 1,700 piece set was one of the largest sets ever released at the time. This iconic set currently sells for up to $2,700 for a new unopened box. Even a used set with instructions can fetch a hefty $600 if it's in good condition. The first modular set on today's list is the Market Street. This was an exclusive set with over 1,200 pieces and three minifigures that was released back in 2007. Although it's officially marked as a LEGO factory set, many LEGO collectors also consider it part of the creator expert theme of modular sets. This set originally retailed for $90, but it was officially retired after only 18 months. The only other way to obtain this set was by being a participant of the 2007 LEGO Inside Tour. Instead of a mere $90, a sealed version of this set nowadays sells for a jaw-dropping $2,900. Coming in with another modular set, the Cafe Corner set is perhaps one of the most iconic LEGO sets ever produced. This 2,000-piece LEGO modular set was released with three minifigures back in 2007 for only $140. However, the same set nowadays goes for nearly 3,000. The amount of detail on this set is impressive, and while some of the building techniques might be a bit dated compared to modern designs, this was the very first LEGO modular building and has earned its place as an important collector's piece for many LEGO fans. Next up is the first set on today's list that was never available in stores. The LEGO Yoda Holocron set was a promotional set with 408 pieces and three minifigures that was given away to journalists in 2013 in order to promote the premiere of the Yoda Chronicles animated series. The set is much smaller than many of the others on today's list, but that's because it was produced in extremely limited quantities. An unopened set today sells for nearly $3,400, but these hardly ever pop up on secondary markets, so good luck trying to buy one. Wouldn't it be nice to have a fast, direct route to your airport terminal? Well, the designers of LEGO agree, and all the way back in 1990, they released the LEGO Monorail Airport Shuttle. This LEGO town set had 767 bricks with nine commuting minifigures and retailed then for a rather high price of $140. But that investment sure did pay off, as the set now sells for nearly $3,800 if it's still in the box. Breaking into the top 10 is one of the hardest to find LEGO sets that was ever produced, but perhaps it's also the set with the simplest name. Yeah, this set is simply called Cars. It doesn't have particularly rare pieces, however, the value comes from the fact that only 33 of these sets were ever produced, and they're all hand-numbered boxes. These were originally given out to attendees of the LEGO Inside Tour back in 2010, and the number available today is likely less than the 33 originally produced. The set is commonly listed as being worth about $4,000, but none have even been listed for sale in over a year, meaning that the real value of the set could be significantly higher. The ninth most valuable LEGO set is also one of the all-time fan favorites from a very iconic theme. The Black Knight's Castle was a 588-piece LEGO set that released back in 1992 for only $85. This set included a dozen minifigures, including a rare glow-in-the-dark ghost, as well as over 50 accessories and four horses for the knights. These incredibly hard-to-find minifigs and accessories are what drove the price of this set to a staggering $4,200 today. Would you like to see LEGO Castle make a comeback? Let me know in the comments. This next set is by far the oldest on today's list. All the way back in 1957, LEGO released its original Fire Station set. It initially retailed for a price of only $4.50, but that's about $50 in today's money. While this set might not look phenomenal by today's standards, it still stands out for two reasons. One is that the 1x8 white brick that sits on the front and center is actually a printed piece that reads Fire Station in the English sets, but this was also translated into several other languages for localized releases. 
However, the main feature that has earned this set such a high spot on this list is the red Bedford Fire engine. This piece was only ever released in this set and is now one of the most sought after collectibles for both Lego and model truck enthusiasts. Today, this fire station set sells for up to 5,000 US dollars. Another LEGO Inside Tour exclusive set makes its place here on this list. The Piper airplane was given out to tour guests in 2012, and this model in particular was heavily inspired by the very first plane set that LEGO ever produced. Similar to the other Inside Tour exclusive sets, this one was not made available for public purchase. Only 53 copies of this set were ever produced, and all are individually numbered, so getting your hands on one of these will be difficult. In fact, it's been over a year since any of these were sold on any of the major resale sites. Still, the most recent estimates for the value of this set are around $5,300. If you're amazed at these prices so far, then hold on because you have no idea how deep this goes. Last year, Architectural Digest published an article talking about how LEGO sets have been a better investment than stocks, bonds, and even gold. And it makes sense, we know that some sets skyrocket in price. But what's really incredible is that LEGO sets aren't the only collectible that beats traditional investments. There's a class of collectibles that 85% of money managers recommend investing in with even higher potential appreciation. And I'm talking about contemporary art. In times like this, contemporary art's demand actually increases. In fact, the last time inflation was this high, contemporary art appreciated at an average of 33% per year. But how do you get into contemporary art without selling all your LEGO sets to afford it? Well, you go to Masterworks. They buy high-value art from artists such as Picasso and Banksy and break it into shares so you can invest in a portion of the actual physical paintings. And when the painting sells again, you get your slice of the potential profits. So far, they've sold six paintings for an average net return of 29% to investors, and their collection of art has already appreciated by 15.3% according to internal valuations. They've done so well, there's a wait list to join their 500,000 other members, but you can skip it by clicking the link in the description. Now, back to the video. Next up, we've got another train set. There's just something about these things that collectors seem to love. This LEGO steam engine set is unique because it's the only electric powered set that reaches these astronomical monetary values for this list. First released in 1980, this LEGO steam engine set came with 263 pieces and two minifigures. This set is compatible with any other LEGO 4.5 volt or 12 volt sets and fits on all the LEGO train tracks you may have laying around. Although it's not quite as rare as some of the other sets on this list, its cult-like train collector status has earned it a resale price of approximately $5,500. Moving into the top 5 of today's list is yet another LEGO Inside Tour exclusive set. Clearly, if you ever get a chance to take this tour, the price of your exclusive set will almost surely offset the price of admission in a few years. The LEGO molding machine was given out to attendees back in 2011, and this set is modeled after the actual brick molding machine that is at use in the LEGO factory in Billund. If you're lucky to find one of these for sale, expect to shell out a staggering $6,200. In the fourth spot on this list, it's the last Inside Tour exclusive set on today's list. Old Kirk's house was given out in 2009, and only 32 of this particular version were ever made because each box was actually hand numbered, which made these extra special. The bright red building is made up of 910 pieces to create a very clean yet basic version of what was once the home of LEGO's founder. While the design of this set might not have the same wow factor as some other LEGO builds, the fact is, is that it captures a lot of LEGO's history, and it has definitely driven fans wild with spending up to $5,800 to take home this set in a new, unopened form. Surprisingly, the third most expensive LEGO set is also the smallest set on today's list. The LEGO UNICEF van was a 59-piece LEGO town set released with one minifigure back in 1985. This was a promotional set together with UNICEF and was only available via LEGO Club in Canada. Finding a new one of these today is extremely rare. A sealed, unopened box will run you an eye-watering $6,000. That's about $100 per piece, which makes this the most expensive set on the list today on a brick-by-brick -brick basis. Next up is Cloud City from LEGO Star Wars. Based on the unforgettable scene in Star Wars Episode V, this set was released back in 2003 for only $100. The set is suited for showcasing all of your favorite scenes from the Cloud City on Bespin. 
Now, while this set is impressive and highly valuable on its own, the real value comes from the seven minifigures included, some of which are actually exclusive to this set, making them truly rare collectibles. For example, the Boba Fett minifigure, as you may have heard, typically sells for nearly $3,000 by himself. And so, if you got this entire set in its original box, you could collect a casual $7,500 from the right buyer. And here we are, the most expensive LEGO set ever. This is one of the very first LEGO castles ever produced, the original release of the Yellow Castle in 1978 with the set number 375. It included an impressive assortment of 14 minifigures and is easily one of the most iconic toys ever produced. So how much does one of these go for? Well, some of the most recent sales have been for around $8,200. That is a ridiculously expensive LEGO set. But what about the most expensive LEGO minifigures? Click the video on the left to see minifigures that are worth thousands of dollars. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more LEGO content.